Howdy folks, Daniel Robino here with Windows Phone Central and check it out, I have an HTC Titan with sort of Windows Phone 7.8 on it. Now you hear me hedging there because this really isn't fully 7.8 which is still development, still in beta. Uh, this is basically bits of it mixed into a custom ROM. It is kind of cool, but it's not groundbreaking, and I'm not going to really reveal any huge secrets here, but it is kind of cool if you want to see it. Uh, HTC tie-in running 7.8 new start screen. Yes, you can tap on any tile, and you'll get that little arrow to give you the options. And you can, if I can tap it again, hold on. You can shrink it down. We can make it double wide. Or, of course, we can make it normal. And you can move them all around. You'll see as the game style, it's a little weird looking, right, as the Xbox Live one. But if you go into it, it just launches into your regular Xbox Live. And you can see my cool, badass Borderlands 2 character. Oh, yes. Great game. Uh, anyways, if you scroll around, uh, music and videos, there is the new, you know, Xbox Live branded music stuff. But if you tap into it... Boom, just zoom, music. So nothing major there. And when you scroll down, no little arrow at the bottom like Windows Phone 8. And let's go to the mystery. Is there anything here? No. Uh, this is a custom ROM, meaning there are lots of stuff in here, including uh, Bizarre that's been tossed in. Bizarre is the uh, unofficial marketplace where you can install hacks and tweaks and different apps. These are things that are not on the official market or Windows Phone store, I should say. And you can install things like Opera Mobile, which I did. And if you're curious, I'll show you what that is like here. Um, are you missing anything by not having Opera Mobile on your phone? Not really. I mean, it's kind of cool, but um, it's not leaps and bounds better than IE9. So that is Windows Phone Central on Upper 10, which is kind of neat. It does have the turbo mode, which I suppose helps a little bit. So there are some other cool things here, including USB video out, which is neat. Now, none of this, though, is 7.8, right? So if you're wondering what's in 7.8, once again, it is just the start screen as of right now. Maybe there's more later, but as of now, it's 7.8 is just start screen, which isn't the most exciting thing in the world, but it is kind of neat if you don't have it right now. Let's go to the about, and I'll show you what version we're running here. This is 8835. Now, this is a custom ROM made by Azelio at XDA Forms. It's called the EB Edition. So if you want to go and get it, go ahead. Um... You know, it's kind of cool. You can change the tile colors and everything. It's flexible. It's got, like I said, a bunch of custom ROM stuff on there. But uh, outside of that, <laughs> that's really all there is. It's kind of cool to see it. It's a little strange on the Titan with the screen being so massive and these giant tiles with that missing gutter to the right. But it's kind of a neat experience. I like being able to shrink these tiles down big time. It does make organization, I think, a lot easier. But, you know, is it worth hard flashing your device and installing a custom ROM, you can't update, mind you, this is a, a whole new flash. Um, you know, maybe. Uh, make sure you know what you're doing. You can brick the device if you don't do this properly. Um, there is a custom ROM for at t Titans, in case you're wondering, but in order to hard unlock HSPL, a um, at t Titan, you need to do a hardware hack, which is it's called a gold card. It's a little bit more involved, so. But the ROM looks actually really nice for it, so you can find that also at XDA Forms. But there you go. Uh, we'll have more information at Windows Phone Central. There is, though, 7.8 kind of on the HTC Titan. Take care, buddy.